In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to change the download location in Safari so that when you download a file from a website, it will download that file into a different location instead of your downloads folder. You can make it download to your computer's desktop or literally any other folder on your computer or even an external location like a flash drive or external hard drive or even cloud storage service like Dropbox or something if you want to, or iCloud. Or if you prefer, you can actually have it ask you where you want to download each specific file every time you download something. So then you download a file and it will ask you where do you want to save this file. And you can pick one location. Then it will ask you where do you want to save this file and you pick another location. So that would allow you to keep everything really organized. But to do this, you need to open up the Safari settings menu. So click on Safari in the top menu here and come down here to where it says settings and click settings. And now in this menu here, it'll just be under general near the bottom here. It says file download location. And as you can see, that is currently set to downloads. But to change this, we just need to click on these arrows here and click other here. And now it will pull up a finder window where you can just choose wherever you want to save your downloads. So as you can see, obviously right now it's put it in the downloads folder, but you could choose the desktop or even a folder inside the desktop if you prefer, or a completely different folder down here if you wanna download something in there. Or you could choose an external drive that's connected under locations here. So you just need to make sure that's plugged in first and you could choose that. Or if you have some sort of cloud storage service connected with your Finder app, you should see all of those options down here and you can select any of them you want. But for the purpose of this video, Timmy's going to select cool files so that the file will download into cool files. And then once you're happy with your selection, whatever you've chosen, you just need to click select down here. And now the download location is cool files, which is the location we chose. So if we now go to a website where you can download stuff, Timmy's just come to the Google Drive website to download a file from here, but you could be on literally any website where you might download files. And Timmy will just find a suitable file to download, perhaps this one, and we'll click the download button. And now when it downloads, it will just download directly into the location you chose. So we can see the download progress up here. It's already completely finished doing that. As you can see here, we can see the files downloaded. And if we go into the Finder app, you'll see there is no files in the downloads folder because it didn't download there. But if we go into the cool files folder, which is the folder to me selected, our download has downloaded in here. So that's really all there is to it. Now, any files you download in the future using Safari will go directly into this folder. But if you prefer, you can have it ask you where you want to download each file, specifically every time you do it. All you would need to do is pull up that settings menu again by going to Safari and settings. And then where it says download location here, click on this drop down again, and now switch it to ask for each download. So we'll choose that, it's set to ask for each download. So now every time you try to download a file, it will ask you where you want to download it to. So if we close this again, and maybe we'll just select a different file this time in Google Drive and click download. Now, right before it begins to download, it'll pop up with a finder window here and you get to choose where you want to download the file to. So it's popped up with the most recent location we've downloaded files, which was this cool files folder. So if you just wanted to download it there, you could click save, but if you wanna put it in desktop or an external drive or any other folder like that, you can just choose where you want to download it and then click save. And now 
it will download directly into that folder. So if we go back to the Finder app, you'll see the file is not in here because that's not where we chose. We put it on the desktop in here. So if you like to keep your files really organized all into different folders, this can be a great way to arrange exactly where each file's going directly when you download it. But those are really the two options. That's how you can control where your downloaded files will go in Safari. So hopefully you found this video helpful and we might see you in another one soon.